hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and you are back in my echoey bathroom. Um, with my little, my little hair bow. So this video is not really bookish. This is, I've been wanting to film my nighttime skin routine and I have before and then ended up not using the video. And I was thinking about what to talk about. And so I just wanted to kind of talk about how I've been feeling, which, you know, this video might not be for everybody and that's totally fine. Just, um, I guess trigger warning, or isn't it content warning? I probably should look up the difference between those um, for like mental health, anxiety, depression, um, body image issues. So it talks of like weight and diet, um, you know, kind of state of the world. So any of those things may be triggering. This might not be the best video to watch. I'll try to, if you're very much interested in my nighttime skincare routine, because it's full of secrets, then, you know, maybe down the line, I can do a different video with more positive topics. But I just, just, this is very last minute. Like I didn't plan it, but I just, I'm gonna need a pop in because I need to get this here sunscreen off my face a lot of you know that i've been trying different sunscreens and i have had some positive experiences and the one today was not bad it just took a lot to rub in so i have like some residue in my hairline that i need to get out and so i am yeah i'm gonna do my routine i'm not a skincare guru i'm not an esthetician i'm not a dermatologist this is work this works for me a lot of trial and error um most of these things I've used for a while. There is like two newer things that I have not had any negative reaction to, but I have used them long enough to see if they, you know, work as well as they're supposed to. Ooh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep like hitting my table. So I'm gonna do that. I've tried, I'll try to explain what I'm using, what I'm doing as I go along, but honestly, sometimes I start and then I forget because I'm me. So anyway, let's get it popping. Warning, the following content includes excessive hand movements. Uh, I'm gonna do double cleansing, which I don't do every night, but I do pretty frequently. And usually, um, most days I'll just use Pond's cold cream makeup remover because it's cheap. But today, since I'm doing this video and because this was like a thicker sunscreen and I just sometimes like to use this when I feel like treating myself, I'm using the Then I Met You Cleansing Balm. I'm, just, I'm really bad at this. What do they, what do the beauty girls do? The beauties do this. <laughs> I love this, but it's like 30 something dollars and I don't want to pay or I'm not, you know, not something I'm going to re-up all the time. So I definitely use this a little bit slower and I just use the cold cream most nights, but I'm just going to, and then when I usually, do, when I do this one, because to me, this is like my luxury um, this is when I'm really like pampering myself. I tend to rub this one in longer, but most times I do it for like a minute and then I rinse it off. But anyway, so, right, we survived 2020, but you know, 2021 is just like the stepsister. And I've been, I am fortunate that I am able to go to therapy and I like my therapist and I'm able to take medication that has really helped me. So I definitely am in a better place than I was this time last year mentally. Um, and I, you know, don't want to think about where I would be now had I not been doing those things. Like I go to therapy every other week and I take medicine every day for anxiety and depression. So very grateful for those things, but you know, it's not perfect. And I still have this brain that likes to think what it, what it wants to think. So sometimes I just between like doing my tea videos, reading more nonfiction, ex you know, especially just like about sociological issues and history and just things like that and race, seeing all the things that are happening in America. I mean, we started the year off with the insurrection and things just continue um, with Trump being acquitted and just all of these things. Um, I get really, down and I just feel really hopeless about the state of the world not like in any kind of like I don't want to live kind of way just like what's the point of like what's the point of trying to learn what's the point okay okay I've got to stop shaking this table what's the point of trying to do better and like you know what my dad's always asking me when am I gonna have kids and I'm like what's the point why why would I want to bring them into this 
this fuckery like i just get really hopeless and i'm lucky that i have friends that let me just like yell into the void about everything that's terrible shout out to you kara we just love to send uh gifts back and forth <laughs> screaming about how terrible america is but yeah it's just some days are worse than others where i just am like what's really what's the point and i hate feeling like that and i just don't know how to there's really no solution because it's, it's just, it just keeps happening. There's just more news, you know, Ted Cruz trying to go on a fucking vacation when Texas is freezing. Just like, there's so many shitty people who rule the world and I'm tired. It's frustrating. And then, um, it also is disheartening, obviously, because I do like the bookish tea and seeing stuff like that about like publishing and just the struggles there. And it's like, are, are these things ever going to change? So it's not even just in publishing. It's in just like the world. It's like, sure, we've made progress. If you look at history and look at us now, but like, are we ever going to get to that place where there's actually equality and um, actually representative diversity in, in all things? I'm sorry. <laughs> In publishing, in government, and in, in, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never been the most like positive person or like always let's look on the bright side or like glass half full. So that's always, that's also something that's very hard, but yeah, it's been a struggle. So it's been a struggle with that. I've been really just over it. <laughs> With being in my house and being on this island, like, <laughs> I want to leave. <laughs> and I don't because, you know, I care about other people and myself and not getting sick. And so I have not done anything. I have not left this island since January of 2020. It is sickening. <laughs> I'm so tired of being here. I want to do something. And so that's getting frustrating too. I'm just like... And because I see so many people I knew back in the States on Instagram and Facebook who have been traveling, you've been going to fucking Puerto Rico and Costa Rica and, and Mexico and Hawaii. And I'm just like, I can't even go to fucking Ikea and y'all are out here traveling, but complaining and talking about uh, a lockdown when y'all ain't never even been locked down. I'm just so over it. Like literally Italy was locked the fuck down from like the first week of March 2020 to like july and then we've been in and out of it since then like it just never stays like right now we're orange and then this weekend we're gonna be red which means you can't do anything because of easter and they don't want people congregating and so it's frustrating and i'm a homebody i'm an introvert i love to be at home honey i don't like putting on no bra socializing with people but even me i'm like i want to go do something i haven't been in a bookstore since last january i <sighs> It's just all getting to me and I'm just, I'm just venting to y'all. <laughs> Who, so many people have the, you know, the same issues because so many other people have listened and done what they're supposed to, to do and are staying at home and not doing things unless, you know, they have to go to work or do things that are necessary. And there's so many people who aren't and I'm tired of it. I'm really sick of it. The other day I was like washing my face and I kept finding these little black specks and they were freaking like, it was some of the ash from Mount Etna. I was like, bitch, I don't do physical exfoliation anymore. Get off of me. But oh, those are those feelings. But I think I'm gonna wash this off now. When you put water on this, it kind of like, is it emulsifies? Cause I kind of, it changes to white. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then wipe it off and then I'm gonna actually wash my face. Double cleansing hand. When you put water on it, it's like this. So I've been using and loving this Paula's Choice Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. I love me some Paula now. I know Cody, if you're watching, I know it's making you think of a Lifetime movie. <laughs> so yeah, my face is still damp and I'm just gonna do this for a minute. I'm gonna try to watch the time. So those are my feelings so far, just about the world. Not feeling very hopeful. Um, a lot of the times about many things, including books and publishing, but really just everything fed up with being in the house all the time. 
and not being able to do anything because I love, I would love a vacation. And I know, excuse me, I know I'm very fortunate and like lucky that I don't have to go to a job and stuff. So yes, these are first world problems, but I mean, they still affect me mentally. So I just, they're still, they're valid feelings, but I'm not saying like, I know, but I'm saying like, I know it could be worse, but you know, they're still, they're still valid feelings and frustrations to be tired of, you know, staying in your house because there's a pancetta outside, you know, or a panic at the disco, as they would say on the read. Okay, that was a minute, so I'm gonna rinse this off. You see how this, this is the sunscreen in my hairline. I'm upset about it. So I'm very much annoyed because it is not coming out of my hairline. Luckily, I needed to wash my hair anyway, but the, that sunscreen is definitely going to be a no because I don't have time to do that every time I put it on. So anyway, I have double cleansed. So now I'm going to tone uh, this in, enriched calming toner with vitamin E and primrose from a girl, Paula. Oh, how annoying. So back to me and all my feelings. Um... I also have been struggling with my weight. Um, so if you followed me on Instagram, even back when I had my original account, Jet with Jess, I, like in 2000 and fall 2017 or 2018, I started sharing like that I was going to the gym and, you know, trying to eat healthier and things and I was losing weight. And so then I, hyaluronic acid, so when I started, I was like 178 pounds, which was the highest for me. And, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable. I was many things that I just didn't want to be at that size anymore. And so I made slow progress. And over like the next two years, I lost like 35 pounds. And I was um, feeling relatively decent about myself. I will never lie and say that I was completely happy because there's never been a time in my life that I've been happy with my weight, even when I was like a hundred pounds, but I felt better. And it was exciting because I had old clothes and I was like, they can fit. So at the lowest, I got down to like 142, but it was as a result of my new medicine that I started taking last spring. And it was right at the beginning of the pandemic. And so the medicine was making me nauseous and we couldn't do anything. So I literally would sleep the majority of the day. Like it made me nauseous and sleepy and I would eat like one meal a day because I really wasn't awake that long. And sometimes I literally was felt so nauseous and I couldn't eat. So I'm using this niacinamide booster um, and it has a dropper. Don't put the dropper on your face. Oh, so I have all these pictures from that time, it's like May, June, July, and we had pictures taken with Nigel, and like I'm like, oh, I finally like like how I look in a photo. I like, you know, I can fit back into these smaller clothes. I felt so much better about myself. I like put together a picture of me from like 2018 comparison, like in the same outfit, and I just was like so proud. And then I <laughs> discovered this ice cream recipe, <laughs> and. Finally, my appetite started coming back and yeah, the weight has piled back on. So I think it started to change maybe like August. Um, and so from August, and between all these steps, I'm just toning again. So between August and now, which is March 30th, I have gained back like 25 pounds and I'm struggling. I'm really struggling with it. I have tried to, I've tried to, I am in the process of trying to work on myself mentally in regards to weight and body size with myself because I'm not gonna lie that I've always been some super positive and, and not mean person in my mind. I'm gonna use this BHA chemical exfoliator. So it's been hard. Um, I started, you know, I did read a book, Fearing the Black Body, which talks about like the, the roots of fat phobia. And I've been trying to follow more like accounts of people who, you know, are different sizes and positive about their body. Regular people, bloggers, fitness accounts, whatever, because I've always followed like 
fitness accounts that are like crossfitters and people with like six pack abs and I've been that like okay I'm gonna wear this I'm gonna do this when I get to this size and I've never gotten back there in the last like four years um that I've just been gaining this weight and so I'm just at a really tough place where I have accepted and I understand that for me and my body that to get to that six pack ab is going to be too much sacrifice i love to bake i love to make ice cream i like to eat and i'm not willing to sacrifice all of that just so i could have abs because at the end of the day what do i do with those what, what do i do with those but i also don't want to stay at this size and in the past i have been able to balance it better than i am now with um still eating things i want to eat but also prioritizing healthier things you know more protein and stuff like that but I just started making ice cream and baking more because of the pandemic I mean I was like well now's a great time to learn to bake and this is the moisturizer that I'm using it's supposed to be good for hyperpigmentation but I only started recently so I can't really say much I do like the texture though it's very smooth um so, but recently I just keep baking, I keep baking ice cream and then we've had time because of COVID where the gym was closed and we didn't have any equipment and the gym was open and the gym was closed. So we've had that, but now it's open and I am regularly working out, but unfortunately to lose weight, you have to burn more calories than you're consuming. And I'm definitely consuming more than I'm burning and I'm just really... <laughs> I'm just really struggling. Um, I talked about this on Instagram and so many people were so kind and shared experiences or, you know, recommendations and things like that about maybe like mindset and stuff like that, which I really appreciated. And some people were like, you know, buy clothes that you feel go good in, which I totally get. I really wear like four shirts. <laughs> and sweatshirts sweatpants and leggings like I don't I I'm sorry I know the scale isn't supposed to be everything but I also have taken pictures and I noticed the difference I feel it um when I shower when I have to put on lotion afterwards it's really uncomfortable for me um clothes like you know that random time I might put put on something other than leggings and even my leggings feel tight, so mm, it's just been hard. And I'm, I also talked about on Instagram, I FaceTime with my mom a couple times a week and um, at least once a week, she asked about my weight because obviously that's been something she's commented on when I was skinny, I was too skinny, then I started gaining weight and then it was pointing out gaining weight. So once I did lose the weight, then she was really happy and it's like, are you maintaining your weight? You're not eating too many desserts, are you? And so I've been lying. And I've been saying, yeah, I'm maintaining my weight, you know, like, because I do make things to sell to other people, but I often make some for myself. Um, so that's been really hard. I literally had a dream last night that I had, was supposed to go home to America for a funeral. And I said, I can't go because I gained weight and I don't want people to talk about my weight. And that sounds ridiculous, but it's, it's a it's a true thing all of my family members they always comment on it and even when I've tried to say like hey I don't like could you not like they're like oh stop getting so defensive we're just joking and mm, it's funny because my therapist was like you need to tell your mom to stop asking about your weight that is not good for your mental health and I was like but I can't though like I'm scared <laughs> I love my mom and we definitely have a better relationship than we used to, but I just don't, I still don't feel, although I'm a grown ass woman, <laughs> feel confident enough or strong enough or want to test the waters enough to tell her not to say something, even if that would be good for my mental health. And that's a whole situation in itself. But so she was like, well, your homework for the next two weeks until I see her again, it's just think about it. She's like, don't do anything, just think about the thought of telling your mom and I'm like, <sighs> but that's been a thing. So 
I'm struggling there on, I'm definitely not in body positivity. I'm trying to be body neutral. And she also gave me this homework of every day finding something about your body, no matter how big or small it is to be positive about. And I've even been struggling there. Today I did, at the gym, I was like, I have nice calves. So that was my nice comment. But I'm very um, hateful. And of course, judgmental about myself, but I mean, I say these things in my head, I say them out loud, I fat shame myself, I berate myself, um, whew, and it's hard. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one who struggles with these things, and I know it's a product of, you know, misogyny and the patriarchy and all these standards, but I just don't know how to, I don't, I don't know how to have... I don't know how to have a healthy relationship with my weight and with food. I don't like binge eat or anything. I don't starve myself. I really do not starve myself. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm just sharing just in case somebody out there relates or whatever because I know I'm not by myself, but it always is nice when you like you get confirmation that you're not alone so that's where i am filming has been really hard and i don't know if the obviously the gaining weight has been a part but also filming and then editing and just staring at myself for hours like it's gotten to like a new low of like how much i loathe looking at myself um, every time I film, I'm like, why did I sit like that? You can see my stomach. I hate my arms. So that's why I mostly wear like sweatshirts. I, my last video, I have like, I'm filming like a side profile because I didn't want to bother my Nigel because he was sleeping. And then I, I try to find a way to cover myself up for the majority of the video. So it's a struggle. <laughs> and I, Mmm, woo, ain't nobody got time to cry, just put my skincare on. Oh, and so my last step is this CeraVe healing ointment. And everybody and their mama must be using it because it's been hard to find. It's even out of stock online and I'm very upset about it. But you just use how much, I use probably a lot, but like my face, especially right here, gets dry as hell. So like it just soaks it up. But I just put this on and I put it on my lips, honestly. So, um... Anyway, all that to say, nobody has time to cry. I just wash my face. <laughs> but I just want to get to a place where I don't hate my body. Like, I, mm, yeah, we're not, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I feel the tears coming. I don't have time for that. I just, um, yeah, self-love is hard for me, for me as a person, and that's not even this video. This video is about outward appearance. We don't even need to talk about up here, but um, yeah, self-love is not in my vocabulary, <laughs> and I just hope one day I can get to a place where I can look in the mirror and not hate myself. And I hope this doesn't come across like, I don't know. I just hope it doesn't come, come across negatively. Like I'm just trying to be honest about my feelings um, because life is hard. <laughs> and as much as I love social media, I'm sure that, well, I know it has contributed to some of these feelings and, you know, things change. You get older and you can't do all the things that you could do. And I understand that. I don't. Whereas before I had this, like, I have to have this flat stomach, this ripped, whatever to, that was my goal. And I'm like, that's not realistic, but I also don't want to be where I am right now. And so I struggle with wanting to change my appearance, like my, ew, I hate the word aesthetic, but like make aesthetic changes, but still trying to be healthy about it, which I was in the past. And also 
be okay mentally like does that make sense oh well, yeah i don't i don't want this to come across as offensive to anyone or, or whatever like i'm judging you for your size or anything like it's not that it's just that i'm struggling in my body and i have always struggled so i just would like to get to a place where i'm feeling good um that i'm healthy that i i mean it's human nature to want to look good in your or like you look in the mirror and think you look good so i would just like to be at a place where i'm like you know what i i like this i feel good i like my clothes feel good mentally i'm good like i just would all around like to be good and i'm not right now is what i'm saying but i've been recording this for 30 minutes and if i keep talking i'm going to cry and i am a freshly glazed donut so i don't have i cannot do that right now so i hope this wasn't upsetting to anyone or triggering to anybody i just wanted to share my thoughts and then at the same time wash my face <laughs> so i'm sorry if that's super weird so before i'm not gonna do it now because i'm not going to bed but before i go to bed i always put on this laneige lip sleeping mask which oh my god this is the original it smells so good and every time i get to bed nigel like tries to eat my face it's very upsetting <laughs> and i have like a gummy bear one and i'm like no i cannot get that because nigel will maul me in my sleep also it makes me want to eat it so yeah it's expensive for this little thing but it comes with a little like power thing so like you just put a little bit on it's gonna last you a long time but that's all for me i will link or not link i don't have any kind of affiliate code or anything but i'll list all of the products that i use down in the description if you're interested and i hope that you're taking care of yourselves if you have the option the resources you know and, and you feel like you need to talk to somebody just know that's okay um and it's okay to take medicine as well. You don't have to do one or the other. One does not make you less than. And uh, I just hope we can all, all just work to be better humans in general. And maybe the world may not always be a dumpster fire. <laughs> maybe. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to say in the comments or... If you're related to anything, if you have any struggles or anything you want to share, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you have any face products you think I should try, I'd love to hear that too. Because not like I need any more skincare products, but do I want more? The answer is yes. So, again, I'm going to go before I cry. <laughs> so if you watch this video... Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my description box, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.